In the last lesson, we built the dialog which would appear when a new task is to be added. In this lesson, we are going to build the Realm Recycler View adapter which our Recycler View would use. So we can go on to create our new class which is going to be our Realm Recycler View adapter class. Now this class is going to be our Realm adapter which is going to be used for our Recycler View. Unlike other Recycler View adapters which you might have seen, this is going to extend a class which is for Realm to help us customize it to be a Realm Recycler View adapter. But for now, once you create the class, the next thing we do is to start developing. So next, what we do is to extend our Realm Recycler View adapter. Now this adapter helps us bind our Realm data to our Recycler View. Now it takes two parameters, our type of Realm data and our Recycler, sorry, our Recycler View view holder, which I would implement in this class. So we're going to override our onCreate view holder and our onBind view holder. So let's create our view holder here. So this view holder is going to be our view holder we're going to be using. So to avoid that error you see above, then we create our constructor. Now we can go on to link our text view, which will be used in our view holder. Next, we create a variable for our text view. After we will use find view by ID to assign it to the text view in our layout. The layout we're going to be using to inflate this recycler view adapter. And to stop the error above, we need to implement the constructor for this class. Now, the constructor takes two variables. So we're going to implement the constructor now. The first variable is the collection of data to be used by the adapter. So this could be realm results when we query the realm. Then the next is auto updates is a boolean which tells it whether it should update when the collection changes. So it automatically updates the recycler view if the boolean is true. So next, we're going to write our code in our onCreate view holder. So when we are inflating, we're going to be using our row layout. You can see the layout labeled as row.xml. We created this earlier in our last lessons. So now we can go on to write our code and inflate our layout. So first, I'll clear this. Then I'll write view and our variable, I'll call it item view. Then I will, I will <laughs> so I will, it's not really easy to talk in tutorials. So I would inflate it like other recycler views you must have used. Nothing really special here that has to do with realm. So our unbind view holder is going to be similar to any other recycler views on bind view holder. On bind view holder. Hmm. On bind view holder. So what we do here is that we get as you normally do your position, you get the value from it and assign the value to the text view. So we have gotten our task db object using get item and the position of the adapter, and then we get our text view. Now this text view is supposed to display the task, such as um, 
going to the grocery and what you're meant to do. And then we set the task to task db dot then we get the task. So next we're going to find our text view. Now this is the text view in the row we created. So we're going to say find view by id r dot id dot so now this is the text view in the row so txt row task we're going to arrange it a little bit now i want to remove this argument auto update is a boolean which when set to true the recycler view updates by itself since we always wanted to update by itself we will manually set this to be true instead of waiting for input by the developer which is us right so next we are going to override get item id so here we're going to override get item id this is going to return the id which is an integer and is useful when you want to execute some task based on the unique id of the object in the list so first we might have to delete this default code because we are going to get our id from the database so we are going to use the method in our task db class called get id so we'll first get the item using the position from the argument and we get our id So, I'm going to quickly review what we have done today. Initially, we created our recycler view adapter class and we extended our realm recycler view adapter. I'm just going to add this to stop that nagging stuff. So, our recycler view adapter, realm recycler view adapter, had two parameters. Now, we had task db which represented the realm model stored in the adapter and our recycler view adapter view holder which is the recycler view view holder used in the adapter so your realm database must not be called task db whatever it's called that is what you place there then in the constructor we used our other realm collection and the variable name is data now this is going to be passed in from our main activity when we query our realm database. So in our onCreate view holder, we also used our row, which was our layout for inflating this recycler view. And on our unbind view holder, we got the task from our task db variable and set the task to that. We set the text to that task so that you could see it and our get item id which returned the id using our get id and in our next tutorial we're going to be wrapping everything up and you we would finally demo the application where you could add your to-do list well i'll give you one to do now and that is to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this